Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now we've got another cool show to do today because we're going to do some more grind core. Uh, now every Monday we do the grind core with the Monday grind show. You should know that by now. Um, but normally we don't normally have other stuff in the week that's grind core and stuff like that. I try to mix it up a bit more. Uh, but we've had an exclusive sub come through today and I can't wait to check these guys out. It says here they're a two piece husband and wife band from New Zealand making some crusty grind, playing a bunch of live gigs as well. There's videos on theirs on their channel. And because these guys only make one minute long tracks, as they should, uh, we're going to check out a couple of tracks and a bit of a live performance today so we can get to know this band a bit more, see what they're all about uh, and check them out a bit more. So I'm really looking forward to it. This band is called Paul Venar. The track that, we're gonna, that they sent through and the one we're going to check out first is called Tensions Heightened, but I've got another track and a quick live performance for us to look at as well. But let's get into this one this is their newest one let's give it a spin It's got a whole arm down there. There you go. That's how they did it with a green screen. Cool. Nice job on the video as well. I enjoyed it. Man, I'm not, you don't see people very often with their whole arm blacked out. That's pretty hardcore. Uh, I love what these guys are doing. Two-piece band, uh, husband and wife. You don't get that very often. It's dope that you get two grinders together making some music. Uh, they did a great job. I love the riffs in there. Nice and thrashy all up and down the neck. Pretty dope. Uh, they've done some bass as well for this track. It, 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 the live track that we're going to look at as well, they just do the, the guitar and the drums and the vocals. Uh, but yeah, did some bass and extra stuff for the uh, record as well, which is nice. Uh, and then the dude on the drums there, very nice. So we'll see. I'm going to check out a bit more. We've got another. Um, this one's from September 2019, but it's another official video. Let's check this one out. Tick the boxes. Here we go. I'm always on about ticking the boxes. Cool video for this one as well. Doing a nice job with that. But yeah, I like that these guys are kind of doing as much as they can as a two piece, both on the vocals there. And it sounds cool to have a kind of female and a male shouting it out. Get that double layer in there nicely. So let's have a look at some live stuff. This one's from 2020. Uh, I pulled this one out because it had kind of the best sound out of the live stuff that they had on their channel. Uh, so let's give it a spin. <laughs> Nice fast ripping.
No. There you go. Sick. Yeah, I like what she's doing on the neck of this guitar. She's in drop, drop tuning, and I've talked about this before. And I always mention the dudes who are still in standard tuning because when you're whipping about power chords in the standard tuning, it looks super dope as well as sounds super dope. Now she's in the drop tuning, but it works well for her because you can see she's working it nicely. And then she does drop onto the A string and do a bit of power chords in the, in the standard format as well. Uh, and it looks super nice, kind of spidery around the neck. Very cool. I love to see that. So it's nice that we've got to see the band in the videos and look at some live performance of these guys uh, to see them do it nicely live. Sick. Uh, I like as well what they're doing with the with the kind of two piece band in this, um, getting the job done just as a husband and wife as well. Talk about keeping it in house. I was talking about keeping it in house. Um, if these guys do their own mixing and stuff as well and recording, man. They're definitely keeping it all in-house, literally, uh, and getting the job done. But I really, really like that. And I think there can't be anything cooler, uh, as long as you get on as bandmates as well, uh, that you can make make grindcore or any kind of music, especially grindcore though, because you can get away as a two-piece band making grindcore. Um, with your wife or with your husband. How dope is that? Very, very cool. Just hope it doesn't, you know... It's not something that kind of comes between us. They've got different kind of artistic differences and things like that. Might be something that comes into the marriage that wouldn't normally be there, you know? That's stuff you, you knock out with your bandmates. Uh, but yeah, I love that they're doing that as well. Very, very cool. Hopefully now we'll start getting these guys on in the Monday Grind Show. So just send over your videos for the Monday Grind Show. I almost feel bad people dipping in their pocket just to watch a, a minute video, which is why I tried to spin a bunch of them today. But on a Monday... Just send this stuff over. We'll throw it in with all the other bands that sound like this and are doing this kind of stuff. Uh, and it will go very, very nicely on a Monday grind show. Very, very cool. But it's been a cool day today to get to know this band a little bit more than we would do on just a Monday grind where we only hear a minute of their stuff and talk about them and kind of, you know, talk about the makeup of the band and everything. Love that. Very, very cool. So hopefully we'll start seeing these guys more regularly now. Looks like they put out videos pretty regularly uh, and doing a lot of live shows as well. I love that, that they got the confidence to do it live as well. You know, they're not just kind of at home and thought, yeah, we can play a bit of instruments and we'll make some grind and maybe put it out on the internet. They're like, no, we're well into it. We we want to play this stuff live as well and do a show and all the rest of it. And just for guitar and drums, they held the show there nicely. Uh, obviously, you, know, you can't do the bass and stuff live in that way unless they wanted to maybe use an octaver, which is what some guitarists are doing nowadays. But on this faster stuff, I don't think it works. It's more for doomy, slower, sludgy stuff that works better. Uh, when you're whipping about the neck, having an octava, it doesn't quite sound, you know, it's not the same as a bass. Um, but they could maybe consider running some some bass through a VS, uh, DAW in the background or something like that if they wanted to fill it out more. But anyway, all I'm trying to get at is for a two-piece band, they do a great live show as well, getting the job done live. So very, very cool. Love to see it. So hopefully we see these guys on a Monday grind show in the future. Very, very nice. Having a good day today, guys. Cheers. Bye.